Hey guys. So, at least what I'm doing for these first two decks. I'm recording two different videos um, to get different messages. Um, I didn't see all the comments, so I'm not sure who I'll choose which decks. Um, I try not to think about that when I pull the cards because I want Spirit to give whatever message Spirit wants to get in. So, um, this is the second uh, card pull from the uh, second deck. Um, Secret secret language of animals. So we'll see what happens with this. Let's go ahead and pull a couple cards from here. Everybody's having a great day. Good weekend. I just got the shower, cold shower. I haven't had gas for six months. <laughs> it's, it really didn't affect me too much till the winter time came and not having been able to take my spiritual baths a couple times a week, I can tell. It's affected me a lot. Alright, let's see what these two cards say. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, squirrels may be important to you. Whoops, cars is flying out my hand. Number 43, red squirrel. Resourcefulness, vigilance, preparation, busyness. Hmm. I wish I think how to say these things so they are it's more important to me if the message is received and there's healing and so I try to figure out the best way to when spirit talks to me I'm like I, you know you need to say it differently you're doing a lot of things that are like busy work that you think are important but they're really not I'm not saying I'm not trying to tell you what's important or not important to you this is just what spirit I see like this wheel turn like you're doing little things and you're thinking like this these little busy, busy work type things are little steps you need to take in order to get to the conclusion of the situation or whatever. Those distractions are making you sick. It's time for you to be still, prepare, have a plan. You'll be able to figure out a, a more clear path and direction and not, like I always say, willy-nilly it. Look at this squirrel. I mean, he's preparing for the winter. I mean, he's getting thick, which is okay. It seems like you're doing this work without, like, a conscious decision on why you're doing it. Like, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, and do that. And this could be obligations to your family, the community, friends, um... Mindlessly scrolling on TikTok or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like busy work, you know, research, you know, going down rabbit holes. And there's nothing wrong with all those things. But the, if you're someone who is saying that these these things are stuff that information you need or need to do in order for this to happen, that's just busy work and distraction. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. So the, this card is, I didn't even look at this card yet, uh, is going to really start to look at Areas in your life or things that you do on a daily that is just like busy work, which is kind of like a distraction. So there's deeper healing. Why am I distracting myself? What am I trying to force here? What do I not want to do? So that's a little tip of that. And then the second card, 23, which would be 5, that's 48. Um, Albatross, Faith, Endurance, Journey, and Hope. Yeah. Have faith. It's, it's, I was talking for me, you know, it was really challenging when I really had to take a step back and look at, and I, and I will post the video soon. I did a really nice video about <clears throat> putting energy on a budget and how to do that and how I did it and how it completely transformed my life. Um, this card is hinting to you to start paying attention of where your energy is going. What are you actually preparing for? You're gathering all these things, like, I'm prepared, I'm ready to do this, I'm going to launch this idea, I'm going to, you know, um, we're going to start to have a family. So there's, like, all these little things that you're trying to put into place. And those are, like, that's, like, busy work that you, that are distractions that are preventing you, um, that may be preventing you from really spending time with yourself and digging deeper, actually preparing and setting a plan for what you want. 
or you know what you want the outcome to be. Did I show this card to you? Look at the birds. Now I know <laughs> it's for me. This healing work, um, really going within, it, it does take a lot of endurance. I can't even count the the times that I said, "Fuck it, I want the blue pill. I don't even care about this shit anymore. Like I'm so over this." Like. It just, it, so many things just kept happening and happening. Not in a negative way, but I had to stop and look. Okay, Amory, where's your energy at? Why do, don't you have energy for what you want to do every day, all day, which is the spiritual stuff. This isn't like a little, you know, try to make money thing. This is my walk of life now. What it should have always been. <clears throat> Yeah, so this is for the second one. <sighs> this is going to call, this is going to, you know, really challenge your faith in yourself in the process. Um, I just keep, I just keep seeing like someone who's filling their time with, I don't want to say insignificant, but it's like there's a reason why you're doing all these like little things and busy work. There's like there's a reason why you're you're um you know stunting your own growth and, and thinking like you have to do all these things, but they're actually just distractions. I just keep feeling this. There's a lot of distractions in someone's life. A lot of distractions. And then I hear someone saying, but I have to do this, but I have to do this. You, you don't have to do shit. Hey, people hate hearing that. So yeah, so so start looking at where your distractions are. <sighs> okay, I hope everybody has a great day. I'm going to get to deck number three. Have an amazing day.